Wow. Hey, how you doing? I'm Mike. All right, Steve. Hey, nice to meet you, nice Steve. To Hello. Meet you. Heard Good a lot Mike. about you. John. Okay. John. Do you yeah, remember man. him? Eh, no. <laughs> I'm the third generation owner of the Hecht Sewing Machine and Motor Company. My grandfather was a machinist in Austria in the 1850s, and eventually he immigrated to the U.S. How long have you guys been here? Uh, about 130 years. When you don't they look were... that old. Yeah, I age well. <laughs> you... good, good lubricant. Good yeah, uh, it's right. all about the oil. All that right. machine oil. Yeah, yeah, machine exactly. oil. Yeah, yeah. My grandfather, he set up under the name Imperial Sewing Machine Company. And he came in here at around 1910, 1915. So what do you got going on? Yeah, it's the old machine and motor company. But okay. for the garment industry. For the garment trade, correct. Wow. This place has always intrigued me, man. It's just like a great place. Yeah, and he's been thanks. talking about it quite yeah, a bit. Thank yeah. you for letting us in. Yeah, it's uh, unrenovated. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Yeah, I wouldn't want to renovate this place. We use pretty much every inch of space. People like me dream about walking into a generational business, especially a business that's so mechanical. This is one of my personal passions. These are, by appointment, the Queen Victoria. No wow. kidding, wow. Right, it has the uh, royal warrant on it. Thomas Wilkinson, Sheffield, England, 1850. Wow. Just listen to it. You, hear you it. want to hear that sweet swoosh. Listen to that yeah, swoosh, yeah, Jersey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. You hear, I'm, you hear yeah. that swoosh? Watch out. He's going to get some of your hair. The best thing about my job is talking to someone face to face. And to see someone get so excited about a pair of shears, it'll give you that edge like butter. You won't know you're cutting. How oh, beautiful wow, that is. Yeah. This it's is gorgeous. heavy wool. Yeah. yeah. And to hear the swoosh and to be able to cut something. So what is the value of something like that? I'm not interested. Uh, in just... yeah, very hard to find. Yeah. If Thousands? You, yeah, about 900, 1,000. That's what's lacking in the antique world now, in the industry, to physically be in there. Look at this thing. This is pretty crazy. I would say that's Gilded Age, right? Never had that drawer open. The Declaration of Independence could be yeah, in there. Yeah, it's stuck in there really good. Got a screw in the bottom. It's unscrewed, and it takes the whole thing apart. So to me, this was something that a lady would travel with. This is a lady's sewing stand. It's a sewing box. It's Did a sewing box. Like, yeah, there's a pink cushion your... on the top. Yeah, and you put all your accoutrements inside. This is probably 1810 to 1830. Really? Yeah. Earlier this, than this I thought. This is pre-industrial age furniture. Okay. This is the earliest sewing thing you got in here, man. Early yeah. American furniture. The only one who truly loved this piece was my wife. She still loved the piece? She loves she this piece. She still loves the piece? Yeah. This is worth six fifty, uh -huh. maybe $700. But your wife's got to be the one who got us yes it's or no. It's one of the this. few this things. Is, this is her you, piece. Yeah. You know, love to buy it. If you talk to your wife and every comes available, I'm your guy. Hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. Happy wife, happy life. That's is what that they what say, they, right? Is that what they? Is that true? I thought it was 1860s to 1880s, and he schooled me on that. Good education. Man, this is so wonderful. So that makes my 1851 hair the first machine. <laughs> That's an early machine. This is supposedly one of the first in the world. The... This is what we used to sell in Austria. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. But this sewing machine is unusual because it's very early. It's one of the first sewing machines invented made by Elias Howe. Is that butter? It is butter. Is that butter? It doesn't get better than that. No. Look at the engine turning on the early pieces. Is that for sale? I don't know. I, I would never replace it. Yeah, it would be impossible to replace. It's working in nice condition, you know, right in Steve's shop. It's a great piece. Steven's family's skill set, contribution, hard work is the reason they've become an institution, a legacy, and one of the foundations of the American garment industry. All right. Thank you so much, dude. All right, it's a pleasure. Yeah. Nice hey, to see seriously, you. Thanks for sharing your family. Yeah. Hey, also, yeah. thanks for letting us come back. I mean, let me come back. Yeah, yeah you I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm glad you, <laughs> yeah, well, man. Hey. you remembered sure. me, man. Yeah, thanks. a little bit. You're with me. Yeah, right. We've been doing this for three generations, 130 somewhat years, through war, through depression, through death. We uh, come in the next day, put the key in the lock, and get it done. Thanks a lot, buddy. All right. Safe ride. <laughs> Save a shekel for me sometime, man. Sweet pickings. All right, sweet pickings to you. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads. It's dumpster diving. It's flea markets. It's people's homes.